Good morning, everybody. <coughs> Hello from Ireland. Misty, damp, not too cold. <laughs> it's amazing weather. Um, well, I just wanted to talk about um, rheumatoid arthritis and how I coped with it. Well, I, I developed it when I was 37. Um, I'm 55 now. And uh, my first symptoms were um, soreness in my ankle. And actually, see this here? Right here, when I was brushing, just right here for some reason or other. I kind of thought, that is weird. So, years actually went by, you know, um, because actually my first symptoms were when I was 17. Um, and I had pains in my wrists and my elbows on both sides. I was sent on and got blood tests, everything came back as negative. However, um, that was probably the start of it, I think, because uh, the symptoms, obviously, that I have now are very like what I had when I was 17. So, obviously, on to 37 again, I was diagnosed. And I literally, after the first symptoms, after a couple of, I would say, about a year of having them symptoms in my ankle and my hands, I woke up one morning and my whole body was actually stiff. I couldn't move, you know, the usual, your hands are sore and you can't move or stretch. But look at me today, I can because of the medication. So for four years, um, they tried me on Metatrexate. Is that upside down? This is Metatrex, Meta, Meta. Let me read it right. Metoject. Why can't I get that right? Anyway, here, we'll open it up and give you a look. See this? I'm on this now. I've been on this since 2002. Um, but first of all, I was on the tablet form of it for a couple of years. Um, I took seven tablets on a Wednesday. And... Um, I didn't realize anything was happening until I got a blood test and my liver was actually affected very bad. I mean, I don't drink. I never acquired a taste to drink. I don't drink. I don't smoke. I'm a very good girl, really. I often wonder why the hell did I get this? So anyway, again, they decided to put me on the injection form, which doesn't really affect my liver the way it did originally. Um. I then, it didn't work for me, you know, I was getting worse and worse and worse. And for four years, they upped the dose of Metatrexate just to try get me right. But however, it didn't work. It affected all my joints. I had to get my husband to help me in and out of the bed. I had to get help to open a jar. I had to get help to tie my laces. Never, sure everyone knows you can't fasten your bra. Um, just everything and everything needed. I, I was totally dependent on my family. And thank God I have a very good family, lovely children too. William, Rosh and Maeve. So, moving on from there, um, they decided to put me on Humeria. And this is a biological injection. 40 milligram and I took that every two weeks and within four weeks I'd say four to six weeks I was basically pain free although damage was done to my joints but I was basically pain free I got my life back um, I was a marathon runner before I done all this uh, before I was diagnosed rather I was a marathon runner, small marathons, not huge marathons. <laughs> like the, the furthest I ever ran was uh, 13 mile. That's not very long, is it? But you know, I just loved it because I ran every day. Now I can't run. Um, I walk, try to keep fit. So anyway, moving on from there, um, that lasted and kept me going for 12 years. And then my body became immune to it. They tried me on Simsia another uh, biological injection to try me on Orencia. Um, Simsia, Orencia and Embril. 
Ember um, apparently is very like you, Mary. You walk similar ways, but I had a, an allergy to that. Um, my stomach, the site injection, became a huge rash. So I was getting very depressed, actually, very, very down on myself and thinking, this is it, and the pain was coming back so bad. Um, I wouldn't have been able to lift my hand now the way I'm lifting it. I wouldn't have been able to bend my um, elbows without severe pain. I just find it totally, totally debilitating at times and very, very depressing because you know what's ahead of you injections um, whatever about injections but you know that they're possible operations uh, the bones of my feet are already eroded the bone at the back of my neck is slightly eroded my spine is affected with osteoarthritis I have bursitis in my hips and my lower back and now I have this in a long way sternum which is extremely painful I just can't handle it at all um, it's like it like it mimics a heart attack when you get a flare up so what do you do what do you do you just have to keep going and keep going and take the new injection that I'm on now which is called Roactamira this is a pen injection And I take that every week. Now, I was on an antibiotic there for two weeks, so I can't take my medication when I'm on an antibiotic because my immune system is so low that with um, this, the Metaject and the uh, Roactamira, I could get very sick if I was taken, taken while I was on the antibiotics. There's actually a little bit of chemo in that. I didn't realise that, um, thank God my hair isn't affected, but my immune system is low, so low. I always get blisters in my mouth and suffer with sinus all the time. My ear is buzzing all the time. So, there you go. What else can I say? Nothing, but I just have to keep trot along. Every step of the way. Take my tablets every day. Take my medication every time I'm supposed to take it. Alternative medicine don't work for me, actually. I'm just thinking about it. Alternative medicine, um, just, I, I'm, I'm sure it works for some people, but it just doesn't work for me. Um, I was told I have an acute form of uh, rheumatoid arthritis. The consultants in uh, St. Vincent's Hospital and then I have been in Harris Cross for physio and things like that. So there you go guys. Happy Saturday, happy weekend, whatever. Happy Thanksgiving, happy Christmas, happy everything. From me in Ireland to you, take care. Bye bye.